Hello everybody, welcome to RJ's Arcade, I am RJ and I'm gonna be playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. It has been forever since I've done a video on this and it's because I had a bunch of problems on my computer, I got it back up and running again so now I can continue playing this. Alright, we finished chapter 2 last time, now we're gonna continue. Where were we? Okay. Oh god, I don't remember the voices I used to do. Oh, this was this was one of the third part. Here, I'll... <clears throat> uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son. <laughs> now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love... <laughs> pontificating. So come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please. <laughs> please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the crystal stars. Gosh dang it, this is also on the third part. <clears throat> Oh, this shan't be our last visit. Certainly not. But until then, ta-ta. See you, Mr. Mario. Oh. Okie dokie. Let's go. Alright, we just need to get back. Oh, mercy me! Sounds like some mail. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know, I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. Isn't that precious, Mario? <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Guys, follow your move, haha! -ha! Okay, let's do that again. And die. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. No, I hate these guys. Die. Victory. Die. Well, ain't that nice. Why did I choose Power Smash? Why did I choose Power Smash? Okay, whatever. Victory is mine. No. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Logic, where did it go? Okay, let's just get this guy over with.
nothing I can really do right now. all of them, so let's get going back to town. Alright, let's do this. Now, my little Mario, it's Crystal Star time! I feel like I just got a star in Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Voila! Woohoo! Yes, it has been. Oh, mercy me! The next crystal star has made an entrance! My, my, my. But correct me if I'm wrong. But isn't it up in the sky? What does that mean? Hmm. 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 I don't know. That means that beneath this town, the stars near the door of ruins remain intact. And that door's been sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we must have to master the power of all the crystal stars. Perhaps I'm just deaf, but why would they want to seal this treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves and brig brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not. Hmm, that's not what? I don't know! Frankly, please. I'm sorry. So sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the key and the uh, cataclysm rained down. I must research this more, assuming we'll just make an... well, you know the thing. Oh yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitchville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lunch and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wagger on the bouts. A floating city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special blimp flies there. It departs from road cars several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Ooh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seat, seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. We're down the street as all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rollport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta Syndicate Head. 
Apparently, Don Pianta makes very regular jumps over to Glitzville. Hmm. I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a cynical boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Interesting. Let's go. And it's Luigi. Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Squish. Ah! Idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Well, ain't that nice. Welcome! Yes, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar! Eh? What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, just wait a moment. Gee, bro, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. That's the Nintendo Switch in a nutshell, if you ask me. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Okay, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Hey, buy your customer. Your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. Well, it's about time. Mm. 
No thanks, I do not want to know. No, don't explain it again. You're gonna need 10 coins, huh? Yes, I wanna buy it. Okay. Now! Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? A contact lens! Oh, sweet relief! Thank you! Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see! Oh, I'm so happy! Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their st stuff stomped on. I agree. Let's go. Gosh dang it, there was a there was a pattern to do this, I remember. In order to encounter Don Pianta, I remember. But what did I have to do? I was supposed to buy two items in a certain order. But wait, just let me sell this. Maybe it was the other way around. No, what what was it? I'm trying to figure it out. Was it a thumb no no what what was it? No, no, was it uh Dizzy dial and a dry shroom. No, that's not it. What? What did I do? What are you supposed to do? I'm trying to figure it out. What? What are you supposed to do? Let's try to sell this stuff again. Do I want to sell again? Uh, yeah. Um, or maybe not. Maybe not. This is some good stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's let's try exiting and trying again. I'm pretty sure it's these two. I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Um I think it was yellow. I think it was yellow, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. 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 You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Boop. Alright. What week, you wise guy? I ain't too sorry today. If you got a beef, spit it out. Quick, or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You wanna? You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you oughta be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I made crime babies weep. <laughs> that's so. That's messed up. You wanna sure run this bum out on a rail, boss? Look at him. What a rub. Rube, my bad. <laughs> You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? 
Not so fast, boys. I like... I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You want to help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about that ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue, don't listen to that loud. The treasure is as real as I am. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. <laughs> I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get you your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, friend. Cheska, I'm guessing. Francesca and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you, if you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's cause you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy! I hope you don't ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frenzy look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Understandable. Have a great day. I do remember where they are. I remember they're at they're at the dock. And there they are. Hey, back off you creep. You want some or you just likes <laughs> settling up to people. Oh. What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie! <laughs> what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Doll oh, face. Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we can just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie, let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But, Butter Biscuit, they already found us. Out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie! The more you try to put out the flames of love, the harder they burn! <laughs> well, it's kinda cute. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Of course. 
Oh, thank you, thank you. You're swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. It's very cute. So back to Don Pianta we go. Oh, whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Pianta fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. Indeed. Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You're gonna brighten my mood. So, Gear, what you got? You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? Uh, I cannot tell you that. What? I must be going dead. Did you just say to me that you couldn't tell me? You come waltzing in here and say that to me? To me? Do I look like a sucker to you? I warned you, wise guy. Fine, we're gonna need to mop to pick up what's left of you. Daddy, wait! Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss. Uh, I I'm sorry. Truly, I am. Frankie, so, back you come, head hung low, and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should have eloped. It was me. But frankly said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy, no, 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 I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss, it's all on me. It's all my responsibility. All the blame, right here. Daddy! Boss! Yeah! Enough! Quiet, both of you! Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again. You hear me? Get out of my sight. Both of you, I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy? Dad, no wait, I mean, boss. Thank you so much, Daddy, thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman, I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already! Just go! Go! <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of yous. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. You still here? Hmm. Well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And j and just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. It's about time. Who knew that guy's got her smiling ear to ear? She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. Understandable. Have a great life. My, my. We've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzville. Alrighty. I got an email. Yes, I did.
This blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? Ah, please allow me to check your boarding pass. Then please watch your step as you step aboard. I thank you, good fish, sir. And let's get going. Glitz and Glory. And there is Glitzville. I love this music. <laughs> Glitzville! My, my, my! Glitzville! I've heard that the Glitz Pit is just full of brawny brawls. I must admit, the prospect of some hurly burly gets me a touch peaked. Now, darling, let's find that crystal star. Hmm? All right, everyone. I think I'm gonna stop the gameplay right there. Um, it was nice, kind of getting back into character with some of these. Some of these weren't even my characters. They were Juan the Thirds or. Uh, Vidalia the Cat's characters, like, Vidalia the Cat's is Princess Peach, and for Juan the Third, it was, uh, Flurry. So, <laughs> I had to do their characters, it was kind of funny. But, um, alright, I'm gonna end the gameplay right there, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.